Well, yes, they are trying to help cancer patients. I frankly think that the vast majority of physicians just don't believe that, that believe that vitamin C can do these things. Uh, they have, you know, when I went to medical school, they taught us a day or two of nutrition where they taught us about scurvy and beriberi and pellagra and rickets, and that was it. And, and the implication, very strong inflammation, uh, implication was that massive doses of nutrients above those certain amounts didn't do any good. And so I think most physicians who haven't had time to think about it uh, really, really believe this, uh, that, that it won't do any good. But the fact of the matter is that when we try these things, then they do have an effect. Now, why would this be? Now, when a person actually gets sick, they have some metabolic defects so that they may not be absorbing nutrients or utilizing nutrients the way that a healthy person should utilize them. Uh, just for example, uh, I have found that a uh, large percentage of elderly people will feel a lot better with B12, folic acid, and B100 shots. Uh, now, there's no precedence for that. I mean, the old GPs used to do this, uh, but then when they got more scientific and they couldn't come up with any reason for this, uh, they stopped doing it. Nevertheless, these people feel better. I have now had three ladies in their 90s who were pretty sharp, but they gave the history that they had to stop playing bridge a few years ago because they couldn't remember the cards anymore. Well, within a week of getting their B12 shots, they were out playing cards again. Now, uh, so, so that the metabolic defect, see, we get inefficient in our absorption of nutrients and our utilization of nutrients and so forth like that as we get older or with certain metabolic, even genetically determined defects. And so that let's say if you have a defect where you're not absorbing zinc properly, then you might get something like acne. Uh, this, here's an example is that, that uh, teenage boys very frequently get active with, uh, acne when they go through puberty. Now, somehow or another this zinc deficiency uh, creates a suppression of the immune system that lets this puny bacteria take advantage of this. Well, the conventional treatment for this is to use something like tetracycline to knock off the uh, the bacteria, but the problem is that that doesn't cure the zinc deficiency, and so that kid now, when he gets 50, 60 years old, is likely to have a heart attack from a zinc deficiency. So we look upon acne as a precursor warning sign of a zinc deficiency in teenage kids, you see. Now, if they didn't eat junk food, probably they wouldn't get the, the zinc deficiency, you see. So a lot of these things sort of compound up.